Hi guys, I have a uh, new type of cutter that I wanted to show that I've been um, experimenting with a little bit. These are uh, cheap insert cutters. And so they come in a whole bunch of different sizes. Um, I'll cover more of these later. Today I just want to show this one cutting because I'm cutting. Um, I got a plate here of uh, this is PM940 top plates and I'm going to cut a slot and I've been using the insert cutters uh, for what places where I can fit them in. So this is a 20 millimeter and they come longer like this. They're really inexpensive. Some of these tools are like 10 bucks. And I used to not look at these years ago because the inserts were expensive but uh, they also have cheap inserts. If you look uh, the yellow ones are like a standard insert for metal and steel and these are your uh, polished carbide ones and they're actually sh relatively sharp and uh, I'll cover more about the inserts. I'm going to do a complete uh, video on using a lot of these now so they come long anything over 20 millimeters you have to shorten anything over 19 millimeters won't slide up into an R8 collet so for these if you don't need a long length of cut um, I cut them down and they're nice hard steel so the lathe or chop saw the lathe seems to work pretty good on them most of the time some of these are really hard and then on this one I put a shoulder because I'm doing slots and I needed extra room to get the chips out so um, and it, so it has the special aluminum cutting inserts. It's a 20 millimeter shank and it cuts 20 millimeter diameter. They make them like 21 and 22 cuts with the same shanks. We're going to put it in. We have to set zero here. Now this cut was a little funny because it really, you could tell that my blowers are not completely clearing out the slot. And it was doing everything it could almost clog. And I got a drip system and I'm going to have to turn on the blower so you won't be able to hear anything. Now I was cutting at 15 inches a minute, 0.1 inches deep, but I went ahead and I was cranking it up to 35 inches on the last part and it was doing a pretty good job, so we'll see what it does this time. About 4,000 RPMs on the cut. about 4500 RPM right now at 30 inches a minute and I'm going to turn up to 35 here.
know, we just filled the shop up with chips. But that wasn't too bad. They uh, were going about 38 inches a minute, 4,500 RPM, 0.1 depth of cut. And then that is a uh, basically a little bit over a three-quarter inch slot, four and a half inches wide. And it took us six minutes and 30 seconds, and that includes talking because the timer's still running. So, yeah, that's kind of an interesting tool. Um, I, got, I got a bunch of them. And then we have the, uh, here's a package of the inserts, the, uh, uh, 1135s is what they call them. I can't get it to focus, can I? Uh, there we go. Getting a little glare today. But this is the uh, ground inserts. You can see them if I can get the light to focus on them there. And up top is the two regular ones. You know, the regular ones work okay. The ground ones, I was worried about them breaking because they're, you know, they're sharp, almost like a regular end mill. But um, they haven't, I haven't chipped any. I've actually had a few uh, clogs and everything else, and they haven't chipped at all. So I got a complete review that I'm slowly working on for the insert milling. The uh, tool here. The 20 inch one shipped costed like $11. So from that standpoint, they're basically a disposable tool as far as the amount of money you go that you spend on them. Um, you have to make sure that you search and you know search by price on eBay and get rid of the expensive guys. Um, there is a lot of things. The uh, side cuts are not good. And now there is certain inserts that will probably give you better or good profile cuts. Come on, we're out of focus again. Let's see if you get that thing in focus. This is a new camera for me. Um, I'll get into that in more detail, but basically each one of these insert holders probably has one insert that will give you a good side cut and then all your other ones that have hooks and cups and weird shapes to them um, they don't give you good side cuts but that's not what I'm doing today anyhow because I'm just I use them for roughing and then I finish out with a uh, on this case I'll be finishing out with a carbide cutter but a uh, high speed steel or carbide form so that's it that's a uh, just a little video I haven't done any in a while I'm trying to, to get caught up where I can do more videos because I have uh, a few interesting things that I've been working on that I want to cover so uh, but this saves me a lot of time uh, I've been debating between having my parts cut and then jigging them where I can hold them individually versus uh, using longer blocks so for today and for a lot of the parts I, I kind of prefer the longer block idea if it only takes six minutes to rough out the parts here. I'll probably do it that way for a while, at least for a lot of them. So uh, that's it for today. A quick look at the insert. Uh, small insert toolings. There's, uh, these are the small ones. The uh, big ones are actually quite a bit more interesting. Um, I have a, a bunch of those too, and I'll get into those as soon as I get time. Thanks, guys.